Britain Creative Insight Podcast. We're back. We're in the building. We've got AK. Come on, big man. Yes, man. Big up for coming through to the podcast. Big Always, up for bro. featuring. Always. Um, once again, we're live right now. So if you guys got any questions or any, you know, dilemmas, send them in. Send them in and we'll talk about them on the show. But for now, we're going to get into your backstory at the moment. And then we're going to talk about content and bring it all together, man. So, yep. yeah, man. Tell me. Firstly, I just jump straight in. How did you get the name AK? Uh, so my real name is Akira. Mm. So A K I R A. It's a Japanese name, um, and yeah, a lot of people they can't say Akira for some reason. So I decided Akira. to yeah, literally like yeah. they'll go Kira or again, you know what I mean? The kids, you know what I mean? They say Shakira or something like that. Oh so, man! And then my yeah. like my little my little chap line, like, mm. my hips don't lie though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so are you, are you, you Japanese? No, then? I'm not. No, oh. my dad. He's a fan of fan of the Japanese culture. Right. So he just um yeah he just named me after it. Oh, it's okay, a very okay. unique name. It, it's mm. very rare. So I just thought you know what I mean a lot of people can't say it. So why not say AK? Mm. And everyone nice. everyone can say AK now. So cool. mostly um family and friends like people that are close to me they yeah. say Akira. Okay. Uh the rest of everyone, everyone else AK is like my street name if yeah, you will. Yeah, AK. Yeah. Nice. He's AK as well. AK Visualized as well? by AK. Ace, yeah. Visualized by AK. Should be AC, bro. <laughs> AC. Visualized by AK and AK. I see, bro. All right. <laughs> oh, was you? Oh. Wait, how old are you? Oh. Well, when were you born? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, oh, he's AK first. I was August. Yeah, you were AK first. <laughs> you were Ace first. Yeah. Okay, don't get it twisted. Oh, man. That's nah, funny. Man, yeah, big up. Okay. So tell me about yourself, man. Tell them what do you do? Like what's what's happening? Uh well, um I suppose I'm a bit of an influencer, like social media influencer. I started up uh maybe like a year ago now. Um work for a company called Taxpayer. Um an AL. So we just do like street interviews and stuff like that. Bring the nice. like, we our goal is to bring the world together. So um I founded the Tell Me Where You From Without Tell Me Where You From on TikTok. Most of you have probably seen that. It's got millions yeah, of views. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. So, uh, yeah, just literally it's a fun way to find out where you're from and um, just bring the cultures to life, you know, and mm. everyone can see, oh, you know, you're from there and what uh, what their stereotypes yeah. are and what their famous foods are, what to try. So whenever you go to that country, you can try it and all that. You know what I mean? Just kind yeah, of, yeah. It's just a fun way as well. Mm -hmm. Something to do when you scroll on your phone. Those fun, like, interactive, short-form type of videos, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. It's literally, like, oh, probably just over a minute. Mm. Just over a minute. And yeah, so you like, just watch me look like a dumbass. No, that's... That actually... Well, the short-form content is kind of... It's taking off right now. So what's your thoughts and opinions on how... Social media's changed like over the years from you know when we used to have like watching long form now and now everything's kind of like vertical, watching short forms or scrolling, scrolling. How how's your thoughts on that? I'm I'm a fan of the social media when you use it for good for good. You know when you use social media for bad, like you're kind of um, I don't know spreading hate or mm. you know bad things. I'm not a fan of it. That's why I've never really been a fan of social media. But for like me saying like I'm bringing the world together, I'm bringing everyone close. You know, we're all unity, yeah. we're all one. So bringing people together, um, bringing all cultures, countries, and that. You know, we're we're no different than one another. Hundred percent, so, one. Yeah, yeah. So um, the 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 social media side, like the um, how short it is. I believe it's kind of damaged society because you can't. A lot of people don't like talking to people face to face anymore. Mm. It's all about texting or you know calling people and that. Like, now nah, get out there. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah, talk yeah, to people socialize, face to face. Yeah, yeah social. Actually, socialize. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? It still happens, but it's normally like I don't know if you walk to the shops, which is rare now because everyone can just order something <laughs> you from like Amazon order, or can actually just get Uber Eats. Yeah, from Uber your local Eats, store. I can't lie. I'm yeah. an Uber Eats guru <laughs> right now. I'm, oh, I'm eating a bit of I'm Uber on the Eats. Same and, way right yeah, now, man. just eat. The, the can't wife's lie. been cooking a lot recently. Yeah. The I need to get back on my training, bro. I yeah, so do I. Training, so bro. do I. But that actually difficult. brings me to my well, brings me to the next question. Mm -hmm. Um, done a bit of research. You as a K1 kickboxer, right? Yeah, well, wow. training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Um, How was that? How um, did you get into doing that? Um, so when I was younger, I used to have like bad anger issues and stuff like that. And there was certain ways, like I suppose, like I was borderline ADHD, but I was never confirmed it mm. uh, or diagnosed. Um, and there was just certain things I was always fidgety and it, it, I'd snap really quickly and um, I got into kickboxing um, to kind of just 
just try something, you know, mm. see if it will help. And instead of me, like, I don't know, punching a wall or something mm. out, I'll punch a, punch a bag, punch bag yeah, yeah. you know, get my fitness up. It's just mm. a better way. It's like a, um, a productive way of channeling my, I suppose, my anger yeah. issues, you know. Mm. Um, so I think it all stemmed mainly from when my mum got ill. When my mum got ill um, and I thought, you know, she might not make it, that's when I just, like, changed my... Mm. Just changed my my, um, my view. Yeah, yeah, just changed my view, and I just got straight into kickboxing. I've done it ever since, really. Mm. I've been on and off for about twelve years. Well, wow, nice. So, are you looking to maybe compete more, or is it just more, just like a more for keeping the focus type of thing? Uh, yeah, no, I definitely like to compete yeah. again. I mean, I've mm. said that to my coach quite a few times. Mm. Uh, there's been we've got quite a few good, real good events um, up in Kent. That's where I'm, I'm based, yeah, yeah. and. Um, yeah, I've I've told him, you know, that I'd like to compete, but just there's always something in a way that stops me doing it, mm. or my fitness might not be on point. So it's hard, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's a very competitive. It's a demanding. Any combat sport is, I think, combat sports are the most demanding. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like you've definitely got to be. That cardio has got to be up there, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Got to be. You can't cheat that as well. You get found out. Oh yeah, you yeah. Get, like your if, you your, if you out. cheat your training, yeah, yeah, yeah you're cheating you yourself. Yeah. You're not cheating. Yeah. You know, you're not cheating anyone else. You're not yeah. cheating your coach or anything. You're cheating yourself. Cheating yourself. And uh, you well, know you didn't put 100 percent 100 percent, man and even um during my training as well mm. my coach would always say how you train is how you fight yeah literally yeah i believe if it's, you you're, train you're shit, only as good as your shit. trainer yeah. you're only as good as your yeah. trainer yeah. and my trainer he's he's top notch mm. excellent man excellent um so i know this this is gonna go here and there and everywhere but where did you grow up where did i grow up yeah <sighs> uh so yeah i was born um <laughs> i was born in um, a town called Shrewsbury in Shropshire, West Midlands. So it's the outskirts of Birmingham. Mm. And um, I lived in a place called Telford. Telford and uh, St. George's. Big up St. George's. Big up, big up. <laughs> yeah. uh, I lived there for a few years and then I moved to New Zealand and I, I stayed there for the majority of my childhood. Wow, yeah. Um, and then again, moved all over, moved over um, in New Zealand. Where did you enjoy living the most? What, in New Zealand or in general? In yeah, in general, overall. I don't know because New Zealand. I was I was young, so mm. um, as a as a gypsy, uh, we move we move quite a lot. Mm. So we're never really settled, you know. Like I think the most the longest place I've stayed at was about six years, and then I've always moved somewhere you else. Move somewhere else. Oh wow. So, okay. Yeah, like the longest. Yeah. Everyone else has been a couple of things, mm. and like with New Zealand, um, they didn't really like the English. So when you're in schools and you got your accent out, they tend to bully you because you're English. Whoa. So a lot of the times you'd have to, you know, fight. But the New Zealand accent, it's not really like, I mean, how can they laugh at our accent, man? There's... I don't know, like, you think, <laughs> no, I don't know. It's yeah. just like, literally, because I'm different. People right. don't like yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't like differences. Mm. Um, you know, they, they might be scared of it or something, you know, if, they, if you're not, if you don't like a difference, yeah. You, you, or you don't know about it, you don't understand it, you just mm. kind of go into like a fight or flight. Defensive mode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I used to defend myself quite a lot. Um, people used to try and bully me. Did your kickboxing help during that time? I never did kickboxing back oh, then. Oh, okay. I was just a very violent right. violent kid. Mm. So, um, yeah, I, I always used to kind of punch my way out of things. And uh, I moved to seven schools within one year. That's how bad it got. Wow. Yeah. So Seven schools, one year? Seven schools in one year, What, yeah. from... Was I just get teachers getting just get, kicked out, or was yeah, it just, just like getting leaving? kicked out for for beat like basically beating up little bullies? Mm. So mm. Um, I don't I don't um, I don't condone bullying. I'm I'm not a fan of bullies. I don't mm. like bullies, um, and I basically just used to bully the bullies. Mm. So call me a hypocrite, I suppose. But I did. I I was like um, a vigilante. Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> they must have loved well, the, all the people that were being bullied. Must have been like yeah, AK AK. I don't know because I mean. Um, I was English, so they were kind of always oh. like literally all the Kiwis are Maoris right. against the English. Mm. So um, you know, it's me and my two sisters, and uh, that that was it. So you know, and they'd pick on my sisters, mm. and I'd be in the big you brother. Defend them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. being the big yeah, brother, yeah. I, I used to go and go out and do my business. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, but going back to your comment um, or question about like what uh, where I loved the most, yeah. um, I'd probably say New Zealand because I'd have I'd have more. It's more sightseeing, you know, there's more things, I suppose, more things to do out there, as in, like, nature, you know, yeah. go out and that. And it's, I, I was brought up there, so, you know, it's a part of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, now that I'm older, I mean, I'm 26 now, I've lived in Kent since I was 16. So, 
Um, there's a lot more. I suppose there's more to do in Kent as well because of my age. You know, I'm not. I'm not limited to what I can do because I'm, I, I can do whatever, the f- mm. whatever I want now. I'm not not yeah. sure if I can swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can swear, man. You can oh, swear, that's you calm. Can um, so with the street interviews, yeah. Like, where would you say has been the your your favorite place? To we do uh, and we stuff. found it in Camden. Yeah, we found it in Camden. So yeah, shout out to Camden. Uh, shout out to taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about taxpayer, man. Like, so is it a clothing brand? Yeah, it's a clothing or, brand. I'm literally yeah. wearing the clothing brand now. Uh, we do really good quality, mm. um, like track suits, clothing, all that. Like, it's it's good stuff. You have to check it out, taxpayer. Yeah. Um, Txpr dot uh, uk. Um, same with Al as well. Al uh, Alexander Louvre. That's another good com- uh, good uh, good brand. Um, check out their their page as well, which you can get linked in with the Txpr. Um, dot uk nice uh nice. yeah they do it's good it's a good clothing and basically i wear the taxpayer brand while i'm interviewing people on the streets in camden yeah so it's all it's all like st- steamrolling into one so it's all leading back to taxpayer right yeah yeah it's it all leads brand, back to yeah. taxpayer yeah. Mm. yeah nice um what about love island <laughs> so we heard about you heard no, i've you, not no nah, i've not heard anything basically yeah. my mom uh she's become ill for the second time so i've kind of not i'm not really bothered about it now because i want to oh, stay okay. close but uh, yeah, I did apply. For those, yeah, for those that don't know. Yeah, I applied you. for Love Island twice. Yeah. I get told a lot that I look like uh, multiple um, celebs that have either been on there or X on the Beach or um, Geordie, uh, not Geordie, it might have been Geordie Shaw. Geordie Shaw. Yeah, well, only way is Essex, mm. something like that. Um, so yeah, I thought it might as well. If I look like them, might yeah, as well yeah. get on Would it. Would you consider it in the future? Uh, I don't know. The reason, said, to, to be honest, the reason why I wanted to go on Love Island was to get big. You know, how does it work? Or do you get paid for being on there? I'm not sure. I think I've you never win. watched. I think you win. If you win, you get something. But if you're on there, it's more exposure, though, isn't it? That's what. Oh, that's basically yeah. what it is. It's, uh, it, it depends because some people that go on there, their, I suppose, the, the energy. You know, they just put their personality doesn't shine. So mm. they don't get that many views. They don't get oh, many that followers. They're not yeah. really f- the favorite. You know. Yeah. yeah Whereas yeah. in some people. They get on there mm. and then they just go, they just pop, you know, they're just like, they're exposed. Everyone loves yeah, them. Yeah, everyone yeah. loves them, you know. It's like the, the last reality TV show I watched was Big Brother. I've applied for that as well. <laughs> Is it? Can, I apply for Big Brother. Would you go on it? Would I? Um, yeah. yeah, I probably would, to be honest. I but think most reality fun. shows, you don't get paid to feature, but you get paid if you win. Yeah, I think but it's not about exposure as well. It says, yeah, I think yeah. nowadays it's not about getting paid, it's literally about the exposure, like how, how you represent yourself. Mm. You know, the more people that see you, that's basically money right there. You know what I mean? Because, like, now I'm getting quite big. So, um, you know, I've been seen by a lot of people. And that's where brand deals start coming in as well. Yeah. So you can start doing that. You know what yeah, I mean? It just kind of, of course, progresses course. and progresses and progresses. Mm. And like I said, eventually I want to um, – I'm a lorry driver mainly, uh, and uh, among many other things. But um, the um, – the social media influence and that's where I want to be because yeah, I yeah. believe that I can truly mm-hmm. make a difference, I suppose. You Definitely, know, like, man. And the ch- like you said, the channel is doing well. Yeah. It's very. in fact doing more than well. It's doing amazing. Yeah. It's, it's doing, growing. It's, it's exponential growth, man. It's, it's doing bits. But obviously you're getting a lot of followers. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Every day, new people are finding your channel, finding out about you and taxpayer and everything you do. Facts. Um, but what about like the trolls and stuff? Do you get many people trolling or is it a lot of mostly positive comments? I suppose a lot of positive comments. Mm. Some people like, uh, I'm not a football person, yeah? I don't watch football. I'm not really interested in football. I prefer rugby. I think that's probably from my background in yeah. New Zealand, like, being, like, you know, being brought up in New Zealand. Um, and, yeah, like, a lot of hints that I'd get from the tell me where you're from would be, like, football stars. Uh, uh, I had one recently. Um, I interviewed uh, a woman who's from Wales, and she gave me a hint, Gareth Bale. And I said, what is that? I didn't say who. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the yeah. amount of comments were like, oh my God, how do you not know Gareth Bale? Yeah. You, you... Well, you can't know that. You exactly. Know that <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> I know. You know saying, what? That's, like, that's like saying I don't know who fucking Rooney is, bro. Yeah, I know who Rooney is. Wayne Rooney? Rooney. Yeah, exactly. I know Wayne, Wayne Rooney. Rooney. I, I know Wayne Rooney. I know him personally. No, I'm joking. Who's Wayne I don't Rooney? Know. I don't know Wayne Rooney. I'm just saying that to try and get views on this. Yeah. Who's Wayne Rooney? Yeah, who's Wayne Rooney? Who's Wayne Rooney? Who's who's Messi? Who's Ronaldo? What? Yeah, who's Messi? I thought I was just. just... He's just got messy hair. (laughs) (laughs) He's got messy hair. Uh, (laughs) So no trolls. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't say trolls. Mm. Thing is, yeah, it's how you look at it. So like me, um, I'm quite thick skinned, so it don't bother me. Like Mm. you can say whatever you want, I don't, I don't care. I mean, Mm. I'm still gonna do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in some people that like would do social media, they take it to heart. 
Mm. You know, um, yeah, some people have actually um, committed suicide wow. from doing them type of things before. Like some of the TV right. shows. I think there was one. I think it was from Love Island. I think or something similar. Um, uh, I think it was twins. I can't. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Mm. But uh, yeah, they they commit suicide because of the hatred. Damn. You know, what's the, what's the point? Damn. But you know what, man, we get a couple of trolls on there, and and listen, I always say, big up. Yeah, I always say, big them up, because you lot are giving us views. Yeah. And, and hate, they, hate so or likes. You, yeah. It's still views. It's yeah. still it's still yeah. exposure. It's still advertisement. Sometimes I reply back to them though. Yeah. Sometimes I do, I do reply back, but it's like the big ones like KSI, yeah. Tommy Fury, mm. um, even the Furies themselves. Yeah. They get a lot of hate, but then mm. again, it's in your mouth. You know, you're talking about it to other yeah, people. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You're just giving me promo. Yeah, I don't care about it. Well, promo. clearly you do because you, you comment do. about it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've taken two seconds out of your day to comment on something that they're not even gonna they're not even gonna see it. Mm. So it's like a lot of our comments that we um, that we get on uh, on our videos. We mm. we don't really you don't see it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start uh, looking at them. I'm gonna start doing some lives, and uh, I'm gonna read the comments, and I'll say uh, yeah. I'll say my views on it. But it'll be mm -hmm. fun, be funny. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's like one challenge you faced while doing street interviews? Um, I don't really know. I don't think mm. there has really been a challenge. No challenge. I'd say like you've got mm. to be you've got to be a confident person. Like walking mm. up to people, you've got to be confident. Um, you know, uh, you'll be able to talk. Um, mm. Yeah, I can, I can talk. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, you just got to be a likable guy. Got to be well. yeah. You know what I mean, so you can't just be like have confidence. You, yeah. yeah, you can't yeah, be like yeah. moody and walk up to someone and go, oh, turn me away from that. Turn me. Yeah, you don't work. You, you need that energy. energy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, course. more energy, more passion. Mm -hmm. That type of stuff. So every, every video that I do, yeah. I'm always like, you know what I mean, like my eyes are out there i'm always mm. looking i'm always like you know like where, where's mm. my next viral yeah yeah, yeah yeah and you just chat to people and it's, it's just fun it's just That's good it. just I, gotta I, make I, it fun and enjoy yeah. it yeah. It's, it's all about that you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Even if you don't get a lot of views I'm mm. still enjoying it, and that's yeah. what the job is about. I don't see it as a job; I see it as like like a hobby, you know. Yeah. And even when I get to the point where I can leave the lorries and fully focus on the social media side, I won't see it as a job. I'll just see it as literally a passion, mm. because it is it, it it's fun to me. I like it. I like being in front of the cameras. I like talking to people, and you know, it, it, I mean, it's just it's just fun. It's just mm. you got to be that type of person, now, you know. Some people don't like being on the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your favorite platform to use? Like, oh. Let me talk into the mic what's your favorite platform to use insta tiktok youtube um i'd probably say tiktok i think tiktok is our biggest platform right now between tiktok and instagram yeah um yeah i find I TikTok, tiktok such a strange platform to post on because some some of our videos will get like thousands of views mm. and others just will get like 200 300 depends on the, like the content it's literally yeah. all about the content because the end of the day the views <clears throat> the viewers yeah. They want to watch things that they want to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to have like a lot of TikTok. To be honest, the majority of people on TikTok are kids. Mm. Probably aged between, I don't know. I don't know what even the legal <coughs> limit is for TikTok. What, 14? Four, is it 14? Oh, no, no. 16? Five. Yeah, five. that's what I'm saying though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm five. saying. They're so the, 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 the younger generation, yeah, they are all on TikTok. They're all mm. watching the videos and stuff like that. So you need content that they like. And you know, you, like skits, yeah. funny things, comedies, you know, that, that type of stuff. Content that's going to keep them engaged because, yeah. you know, you even watch some, like, someone scrolling on their phone. They'll watch a video for two seconds and they're yeah. on to the next one. So I'm saying, it's just stupid. So it's it's got, just... you've got to be able to hook them in. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, my, our, um, I suppose our genre is like yeah. education, yeah. but it's like a comedy education. So yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. learning, but we're having fun with it. Mm. Nice, man. And what's... Um, well, with taxpayer, what is the best thing about working with them? What's the what's the most the thing you most enjoy about working with taxpayer? As I said, I don't see it as a mm. job. You know, mm. um, the guy that I work with very closely, um, the cameraman, editor, he does he does a lot, and um, yeah, we get on really well. Mm. We get on really well. Um, so yeah, you know, I see him as family. We do a lot. We, I mean, I probably I see him more than his wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see him yeah, more yeah, than he funny, sees funny his wife. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. That's why yeah. I see him <laughs> more than I see his wife. Than he sees yeah. his wife. So yeah, pause. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you have to you have to have that mm. connect. You know that bond because mm. um, if you're working with someone all the time, then you know you're gonna have your little tiffs and stuff. Like that. You know mm. I might not see um, how one thing works. He might see how another thing works, and we have like a little bit of a clash. Yeah. Apart from that, that's it, and it's rare. 
is rare. But uh, as I said, where I do four and four off as a as a lorry driver, the four I'm off, I'm I'm always with taxpayer. Yeah. So that's oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm yeah, always, so always always with him. Yeah. There's always a work. Button to yeah, I'm to always go. always working. Yeah. Everyone that knows me, uh, I'm always yeah, man, I'm always definitely, working. man. Doesn't like so. How do you cope with the work life balance? So, you know, being a lorry driver and then also doing the social media stuff and everything else you do. How does that balance? Uh, I know working? there's an end goal, so mm. it doesn't really bother me. But um, the lorry driving, uh, it was just a phase. Um, so and that phase is going to end soon because the social media is going to yeah. take over. Um, but it's done its job. It's done its purpose. It got me out of the situations that I was in. Yeah. Um, you know, it pays me decent, and yeah, that's that's about it for that. Mm. And the social media thing again. W- w- you know, when I start getting paid for that, and you know, um, make even more virals and just get more exposure and everything out, all good positive things. Um, yeah, it'll just just be another. They're just gonna elevate yeah, even more. Just be, yeah, yeah, just another yeah. thing. You know. Nice. I said I'm, I've I've kind of got a new view on life it's just there's no point stressing about anything you just got to let everything go with the flow it's meant to be it's meant to be mm-hmm. and um just yeah just go with it go with it yeah, yeah. and um well it's kind of, it's good advice to young people but also what's another piece of advice you give to a young person that's starting out they want to do social media where would you say is a good place for them to start with getting outside Go outside. Getting outside, yeah. yeah. I mean, some people do mm. it different. Like, uh, say, like KSI, he started off doing gaming in mm. his bedroom. Um, as far as I'm yeah, because I've, never, a, seen, I've never seen it, but yeah, streaming and you know, there's all yeah, it's all that. Nah, that get thing. out, get out yeah. there. At the end of the day, mm. you want not only you're going to be seen on the str- on yeah. in you know on the um, on the internet, but you're going to be seen in person. Yeah, get out there. Mm-hmm. Most of my interviews, in fact, all of my interviews are outside on the streets. Outside, I'm talking yeah. to random people mm-hmm. um, about where they're from and other questions as well yeah. you know we don't just do the time away from that time away from we do other things which um we've come up with we've founded and um yeah just literally what just was the the moment that you saw well the moment that you knew that you've got something here with the with doing the interviews like where what was that point where it was like wow guys we need to keep pushing it um so <sighs> I um I started doing modeling. I applied for a load of different like modeling companies, like agencies and that. Um, don't do that because even though you're spending money, you'll never get any work from them. So they're just a scam artist. Anyway, oh, damn, um, really? yeah, yeah, so you gotta be careful with them. I almost did that. I was gonna do it, you know. Yeah, be careful. I, I, I applied like, for like no. nine different agencies because they called me up. Yeah, they called me up and was like, yeah, we want you to model for us. Yeah, like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all that. They were telling me about oh, I need to do a portfolio. Yeah, don't. I thought I was don't gonna, do it. I thought they were going to pay me nah, to do the nah, nah, portfolio. Nah, nah, don't do it. Don't do and it. Nah. Me that I have to pay for it. And I was like, nah. The nah. thing is with me, if I want something, I will get it. Whether yeah. I have to pay big money mm. or I just have to work hard, I will get it um, eventually. You know, so I, you know, I, I always reach my goals, reach my yeah. potential. With the, the modeling side, um, I have probably spent almost 3K, mm. three grand on trying to um get work through modeling so um it uh it annoyed me because i spent all that money and i didn't get any work from them so um yeah so stay away from all that was but it anyway, 3k for them to to make a portfolio uh, i've got two portfolios yeah. uh with two different companies and then the others are agencies and um the other agencies you probably spend like 50 quid or something 20, oh, okay. 20 quid 50 quid 160 quid something like, okay, so for like a mark- two-year contract Oh wow, and they market you, so they basically. Well, they say that. I don't know what they do. Yeah, yeah they yeah. they say that, yeah. but I mean, I I don't know what they do. Yeah, but they yeah, yeah, they like, you know, yeah, they're marketing. I get emails. I get emails here and there, and they go, "Oh, you know, we've we've um we forwarded you for work," and that's it. And they'll tell me who I've who they forwarded me to, and I'm like, "Okay, cool. This is good. This is good." Yeah. Um, and yeah, nothing comes from it. Nothing. Oh, and man. it annoys me the most because uh, I'm. <laughs> I know I'm a good looking lad. Like, I'm not yeah. the best looking, but I'm I'm a good looking lad. I'm fairly decent. So I know I could do the modeling wrong. Mm. Um and it annoys me when I, I don't get them jobs because I'm like, well, how's that how's that you know what I mean? Like, Something's not adding up. Yeah, yeah. It's just what I mean. But mm. I suppose that I I think I prefer the social media, like the influencing side yeah. rather than the modeling. I do the modeling as well. Like, I was on the London fashion show last year, um, on the cat or the runway, um, representing uh, AL. Uh-huh, um, big up. Yeah. yeah, it was a good, good fashion show. It's my very first fashion show, my very first mm. runway. Um, 
normally with runways you have to be tall um i'm only like five foot nine and you have to be for males you have to be like over six foot so i was oh, blessed damn. Yeah, yeah i was very grateful it was it literally yeah. it, like that opportunity was just put in my hands mm. that's how it was so as i said i believe everything happens for a reason so going back to the the, the main question you had um i was working uh i started doing a little bit of tiktok in um probably the beginning of last year uh with a few friends from like kent and um he ended up introducing me to some other people and some other people and one day uh we went to camden and i had trial day with this guy uh tiktok he's quite big he's aggie i don't know if you know him aggie tv um uh good guy and um I did like a trial run with him. He liked he liked me. He liked how I did things and that. Yeah. So he wanted me to keep going. And uh, when I went to Camden, I met the the taxpayer um, owner, oh, um, Alex. Okay. So yeah, I met yeah. him, and literally just stemmed from and there. Just, yeah, yeah. I said to yeah. him, I do, I, you know, I'm I'm a model. I'm I'm aspiring model. I do modelling. And um, he was like, oh, okay, cool. So again, had a trial day with him, and that was it. Ever since then, I've just, just built up from there. Yeah, do everything. You know, oh, we've been to Marrakesh. Nice. We've we've done modelling out there. Wow. Done interviews out there. Yeah. Uh, Amsterdam been there as well. We're going global. Um, we're going all sorts of different countries. Yeah, man. As well. So that's what I'm saying. That's this social media uh. and the taxpayer. That's good. You have to, it's gone global. Yeah, it's it's gone, it's, it's gone, it's gone it's big. Gone yeah, global. like we're being able to travel around the world doing what you love to do. That's amazing. Like. Exactly. Like mm. as I said, like I don't see it as a job. You know, what yeah. I mean, you got to do a job that you enjoy, and I don't see it as a Moving job. On from there, I now I've got a couple quick fire questions before we go into the dilemma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, cool. So, my first question is: city or countryside? What do you prefer to live in? I'll probably say countryside. 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 Cool. Yeah. Car or bike. What do you mean by bike? Like drive, like uh, mo mobike. Bike. Yeah, yeah. Mobike. All right, cool. Logic or emotion? Uh, I say logic. Logic. Yeah. Cool, cool. You emotion get you, you in trouble. You, for real, for real. Um, you watch boxing? Not, nah, okay, not, okay, yeah, okay. not skip, really. I watch it on and off, yeah, but yeah. not really. Okay, okay. Um, philosophical one. Would you rather have a job you love with a low pay or a high paying job, but it's one that you hate? Job I love that. Job you love. Yeah, don't pay, pay much. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay, cool. Your mindset go. comes first, bro. Oh, facts, man. Now we're getting yeah, to the show, know. part of the show where we discuss one dilemma. Yeah, that someone sent in. While in the restroom at work, I overheard my boss telling a colleague that a different colleague is being laid off at the end of the quarter in about two weeks' time. Should I tell him? Do you know, so who, that do you know who that colleague is? Uh? The other colleague is getting laid off. That's all uh, That's all it says there. Oh, because like, if you don't know what colleagues getting laid off and you just tell someone random they're going to be yeah, shitting themselves, yeah. trying a to look for work and it's not them. Isn't it? But if you know who the colleague was, I mm. say, yeah, it's fair because then they've got enough time, if, you know what I mean? To they've got their own yeah. life. So it gives them enough time to find another job mm. before before they, they get like, let yeah. go. Big up, big up. Yeah, so I'd say, yeah, let the colleague know. Yeah, hundred. Tell them. Yeah. Be upfront. Be honest. What you think? Yeah, yeah no, definitely. But what if the manager says, "Ah, uh, who could have? Who could have? Um, you know, who could have said that?" And he finds out it's you. Let him find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? If he finds yeah, out, yeah. And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, I was helping a colleague out. Mm. And, um, if if he wants to get rid of me, he gets rid of me as well. Clearly, it wasn't mm. a job for me. <laughs> Let's wrap it. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Cool. So. It's been a pleasure featuring you on the show. Come on, bro. AK, man. Tell them where they can find you on the socials as well. Uh, TK, teach yeah. AK some. That's uh, the TikTok and the Instagram. Uh, taxpayer as well. You can always um, shout us there. Yeah. Yeah, let them. Okay. Yeah, that's nice, about nice, it. Nice, or nice. Um, AKS official. Nice. Anyone else you want to shout out before we get out of here? Um, no, I think, no? I think that's it for now. Nice. Yeah. All right. Big up for sure. I'm sure, again, I'm sure I'll see you again. Yeah. Of course, of course, man. We got respect, Come like, on, comment, subscribe, and we're out.